f I would like to formally uh, welcome everybody for coming this evening to our spring concert for grades six and eight. Uh, we got a really, really special night uh, planned for you guys this evening. Lots of great music, uh, some really neat things that are kind of out of the ordinary, and some special things that we're going to be doing this evening. So, so much want to thank you for being here. Uh, the sixth graders, this is announcement is for you guys. When you change places with the eighth graders here later on in the program and you're sitting out here listening, I want you guys to listen really carefully because this is going to be you guys in two years. You will sound as good as the eighth graders are right now and maybe better. I mean, that would, that would certainly be our goal is to keep making things better and better each year. And the, the reason why we did our concerts this way, we got away from doing them in five, six, seven, eight, is so that each grade level skips a grade and they have somebody to, to look forward to and, and hear being an, an older musician and they have something to look forward to in the next couple of years. Uh, a couple of announcements before we get started with the sixth grade band. First of all, uh, we had some wonderful high school students who were passing out programs as you entered the auditorium tonight. And those same wonderful high school kids are going to be greeting you as you exit the auditorium tonight. And if you are so inclined to give us a donation uh, towards our sheet music fund, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, uh, after the concert, we would like to welcome you to our uh, cookie and punch reception that we have going on out in the cafeteria. I want to thank all of you who either baked some goodies or brought some goodies this evening to share with everybody. It's going to be a great time out there, so please stick around and enjoy our refreshments. Uh, I'd like to send out a special thank you to our Canfield Band Parent members at large from the middle school, uh, Lisa Farley and Laura Volonek, for helping out with uh, the cookie receptions last night and this evening. And a special thank you to Chuck Burroughs. You'll see Chuck out there, I believe, serving the lemonade and some of his dad crew who, have, who are helping out last night tonight and tomorrow night with all of the, the receptions we're doing. And last announcement before we get started playing is right up here on the music stand uh, by the steps here at the front of the auditorium, there's some information about the Scrappers game. This is our third year of playing at the Moaning Valley Scrapper game. This year it's going to be on Monday, June the 17th. And it's opened up to all 6th graders and 8th graders who are here this evening, as well as 7th graders who performed last night. Um, you probably have received some information from me through an email back, uh, actually I sent it out on opening day of the Cleveland Indians. I don't remember what that date was exactly, but that's when the first e email went out. And I have sent out a couple emails since then, and tonight we have some hard copies here. So if you'd like to uh, have your child play the National Anthem, out on Eastwood Field before the Scrappers game. Uh, please just take a, a letter there. It has an order form attached to it. And that way the order forms can get turned in by next week is the due date. And we can get all that wrapped up before we end the school year and then get ready to perform on Monday, June 17th. So we're going to go ahead and begin with our sixth grade band this evening. They have a wonderful program for you guys. Uh, we're going to play a couple songs for you before I uh, introduce to you our student teacher. We're going to start with a really neat overture entitled Crater Lake Overture. It was written by John O'Reilly, and evidently, according to his program notes, he took a vacation to Crater Lake National Park out in Oregon and saw such beautiful sights that when he got home, he was inspired to write this piece of music. So we'll open it with Crater Lake, and then we're going to pay tribute to our wonderful United States of America and play a patriotic number entitled America the Beautiful. And then we'll follow that up with Supercalifragilistic Expialidocious from the Mary Poppins movie. So we hope you enjoy the sixth grade band.
Uh, before we play our last selection with the sixth grade band, I do have a very special presentation I'd like to make this evening. Um, we started back in the fall, we had a, a program with the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade bands. Uh, it's called Power in the Progress System. And the kids got information about it back in the fall. It's an, it, what it is, it's an individualized education plan, basically, where each child can move along at their own rate of speed. Uh, they have certain levels that they would have to check off. Uh, they went through certain levels, like these, these guys here went through, uh, I think it was called a uh, beginner level, intermediate level, advanced level, all-star, I believe it was, and then Hall of Fame. And we, were, we had one child in the sixth grade band who this year completed all the levels to make it to the Hall of Fame uh, level. And that was quite a, a feat in this young man's life. Um, there were many times when he would come and play during academy period or at lunchtime. Um, he would you know, come out of class to do that playing. And many times he would not pass it the first time through. The whole, the whole purpose of doing the progress in the power system is that you get to come back multiple times. The goal is that every child, you know, will achieve and master a certain skill and then move on to the next skill level. This boy, young man had such persistence and grit, and he stuck with it all year long. And I'm going to have him come up here in just a moment. But, oh, I left it over here. For those of you that have been at the middle school band room, I'm sure many of you have at either open house or... Uh, parent-teacher conference or what have you, you know we have two beautiful showcases outside the uh, band room doors there at the middle school. So since we started this Power in the Progress system, we are going to begin where uh, a child who earns Hall of Fame status and gets through all the levels uh, gets a plaque and it'll be put in our showcase and it'll stay there now forever. So I'm going to read to you the plaque and then have this young man come up and be recognized this evening. It uh, has our band logo on it and it says Power in the Progress Hall of Fame is going to Gage Watson, sixth grade, 2019. So Gage, would you please come forward and be recognized for your outstanding achievement. Gage is going to take home that wonderful plaque with him this evening so he can show mom and dad, maybe get a picture, what have you. And then he's going to bring that back to school tomorrow, and uh, we'll get it hung up in our showcase. And then next year, hopefully we can add a couple more students to the Hall of Fame next year. That would be great. We're going to close the sixth grade uh, portion of tonight's concert uh, with a great tune. It was, it's a John arrangement, John O'Reilly arrangement of a tune called La Bamba. Uh, you will probably recognize it as being one of rock and roll's earliest best-known songs. It was recorded by Richie Valens back in 1958. I wasn't born yet. So we're going to please welcome Miss Kayla Conrad, our student teacher from YSU, to conduct Rockin' La Bamba with the sixth grade band.
Okay, before we get ready with the eighth grade portion of tonight's concert, how about another round of applause for that awesome sixth grade band? And they do a great job. Yeah, guys, very, very nice. Uh, the 8th grade band, we're going to begin with a, a beautiful Italian march. It's in 6-8 time. It was written by a, a gentleman that I think is not very well known in, in the music business, Liberato Gallo. And he wrote this tune entitled French Market Buzzards March. We hope you enjoy this wonderful Italian march. So we are very, very blessed here in Canfield. We have some wonderful, wonderful musicians each year. And, and you can tell by the sixth grade band and even that opening number with the eighth grade band uh, how, how wonderful these kids play. They certainly don't sound like eighth graders. I mean, that sounds like a, a high school band for sure. 
And the kids will tell you this when they get home this evening. That tempo that we took on that march was probably about 10 to 12 clicks faster than we've ever practiced it. <laughs> so the adrenaline was going in Mr. Volnick a little bit tonight. He counted it off a little bit fast, but the kids responded and went right with that tempo and did a great, great job. So congratulations, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> Um, we're going to showcase one of our many, many fine musicians we have at this time. Uh, eighth grade, Gabriella Smallwood has been studying oboe for, oh gosh, a number of years, at least four, I'm sure. Um, she played this solo at contest back on March 30th at Struthers High School and received a superior rating. And there's two movements to the work, but we, she's only going to choose one movement this evening. And uh, it's the Albanini concerto for oboe. At this time, would you please give a warm round of applause for Gabriella Smallwood and her father, Mark Smallwood.
Okay, the next uh, selection that the eighth grade band is going to perform for you is a title of it is called Rhythm of the Spheres. It's a really, really neat title when you think about that. Uh, it's supposed to portray some very aggressive, rhythmically driven pieces of two melodies that you're going to be hearing overlapped with each other. The piece uses mixed meter throughout the whole piece, and it's been a pretty much a favorite of the bands to work on, I think, this, this spring, getting ready for our concert. And we're going to welcome back to the podium once again our student teacher from Youngstown State University, who, by the way, is going to be graduating this Saturday. It's official. Mr. Faye and I had her final evaluation today with her uh, university supervisors, and she is good to go. We'll be a graduate on Saturday, and we'll be looking for a job. So if anyone knows of a music opening anywhere, let, please let Miss Conrad know, because she is now looking for some full-time employment. Please welcome Miss Conrad back to the podium once again to conduct Rhythm of the Spheres. Thank you. 
So as I mentioned earlier, we have so many great, great musicians in the band. We are showcasing and featuring quite a few this evening. And, and part of the reason we have such great students playing so well is we're really blessed to have paraprofessionals work with these kids uh, starting in grade five with their jump start lessons. And then that continues all the way through high school. Uh, some of these parapros work with the kids in grades five through 12. A couple of them only work with certain grade levels, either middle school or high school. Um, but at this time, I'd like to mention all of our parapros, uh, get them all listed, and then we can give them a nice round of applause after I get through all the names. I'm sure some of them are here this evening in the audience. Uh, and some are, some are not, but uh, I still would like to recognize all of them. Uh, we have Mr. Carden, who works with our French horn students, Mr. Drevna with our percussion, Mr. Colella with our clarinets, Mrs. Volnick with our flutes, and Mr. Rollo working with the trumpets. So how about a nice round of applause for all of our prayer pros and their hard work. And we're going to go ahead and showcase our trumpet section at this time uh, that Mr. Rollo has been working on with these kids. It's a piece of music called Hornpipe. It's from the Water Music by Handel. Okay, we're going to continue now with featuring another one of our awesome sections, uh, the French horn section. And we are really fortunate here this year in eighth grade to have six outstanding French horn players. These kids are amazing. And when I look around some of my colleagues at other middle schools uh, throughout the Tri-County area, when you get to eighth grade, you know that sometimes they might have one or two French horn players. And we have six of the most amazing French horn players I think that I've ever had at one time in one grade level in my 36 years of teaching. So we're going to bring out our French horn section and feature them on a piece of music called Romanza. It's by Mozart, his first uh, horn concerto number three. And here is our eighth grade French horn section.
the next selection that the 8th grade band is going to play is going to be a fun one to play. We've had a lot of fun working on this tune. It's uh, very challenging because it's a medley of tunes. And anytime you play a medley with middle school kids, it's a real challenge because that means we're going to go in and out of many, many different songs, uh, changing keys, changing time signatures, changing tempos. There's a lot in this piece of music, and we've had a great time learning it. It's uh, from the Walt Disney movie, Mary Poppins. And this medley will include Spoonful of Sugar, Chim Chimmery, Feed the Birds, and Supercalifragilistic, you know the rest. Hi, I'm Christopher Jacobson. 
So we wanted to give a small little message to um, the flute sectional leader, Mrs. Volnick. May you please come up here? So ever since fifth grade and through seventh grade, the foods have never had a sectional leader. Then we go into eighth grade and now we have one. So it really helped us a lot. <laughs> and we just, um, the food section wanted to give you something. Um, food section wanted to thank her. So I wanted to thank Mrs. Volnick for being an awesome um, teacher. She helped us a lot, and yeah, thank you. All right, before we get ready for our last piece, I just want to remind you all when you leave this evening that those wonderful high school kids will be greeting you at the back doors. And if you'd like to give a donation to our sheet music fund, once again, that'd be greatly appreciated. And don't forget our reception. That's very, very important. We all want to make sure we get some goodies in our tummies before we go to bed tonight. And I got a couple other thank yous. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Fay, who you've seen running around this evening like crazy. He comes up on Mondays, we are really fortunate that he's able to come to the middle school Mondays. He works in the morning session with a couple of our lower grade levels, fifth and sixth grade. Um, and then in the afternoon, after school, he returns to do some tuba time, we call it, with some fifth and sixth grade tubas after school. So how about a nice round of applause, please, for Mr. Fay, all his hard work. Also, like to thank uh, Mr. Kelly, who is not here this evening. Mr. Kelly is our high school band director. Uh, some of you already know him, eighth graders and eighth grade parents. You'll meet Mr. Kelly here very soon when we get ready for July 4th. But he, uh, his son, goes to Howland High School, plays trumpet, and there we're having their spring concert this evening. So he's up in Howland, enjoying the concert with his son this evening. I also like to thank our administrators at the middle school, both Mr. Rubin and Mr. Flood. Mr. Rubin was here last night uh, attending our grades five and seven concert, and I know Mr. Flood is here this evening with our sixth graders and eighth graders, and I want to thank our two administrators and all the support they give us at the middle school with our band program. So thank you, Mr. Flood. I know he's out there somewhere. Thank you. And also remember about the Scrappers game. If you want to get an order form and tickets, they're here at the front of the auditorium on that music stand. And you're probably wondering why we brought four music stands out here for our last piece of music. So we're going to do something that we started a little bit last year. Uh, we, we did some jazz improvisation last year with the eighth grade band, and this year we're continuing it. Um, it's a wonderful idiom to get the kids to do where they get up and just play whatever they feel like. They're making this music up on the spot. Uh, we've talked about some chord changes and a blues progression and a blues scale, and we've got him introduced to some things, and we've got some very talented students who want to do some improvisation. So we're going to feature those folks tonight. Uh, it's customary, for those of you who are jazz fans, you know it's customary to cl uh, clap after each jazz solo. However, I'm going to ask you to please not clap after the jazz solos. We'll wait to the end of the song, um, and only because these kids are just now getting started playing. And, and they're really zoned in and concentrating on their playing. And if we clap, we'll miss half of the next soloist uh, because they, they each play 12-bar chorus. So I'm going to introduce our student soloists first. Um, you'll hear them in this order, Aiden Fay, Quinton Miller, uh, Chris Jacobson, Grace Min, Victoria Robbie, Tanya Pindugat, Matthew Miller, and G Giovanna Sestone. After the students are soloed, we are really, really going to be floored tonight by our guest artist that you guys are going to get to hear, Mr. John Reese. He's a Canfield resident, a very longtime friend of mine. We go way back to when we were both students at YSU, playing in Tony Leonardi's G band, jazz band. 
Uh, John is a fantastic jazz trombonist, probably one of the finest you'll ever hear anywhere. And he runs his own band here in the Youngstown area called the John Reese Project. Hopefully many of you have heard him. If not, check him out on his website. They play a lot at Magic Tree, uh, usually once a month or so out there, and many other venues around town, a lot of the wineries and stuff on weekends. Uh, so John will be out here to join us on a wonderful tune called Centerpiece.
I have one more very special announcement. Uh, I forgot to mention Jake Fay is sitting in, a, in with us this evening. We had a, one of our tuba players was making his confirmation tonight, and we have two, two tuba players, but it would be a lot to ask of Tyler Carney to be back there by himself and say, okay, Tyler, you're the anchor of the band all by yourself. So we were fortunate enough to have Jake Fay, one of our junior tuba players, join us this evening. So Jake, nice round of applause for Jake sitting in and helping us out this evening. All right, I'm going to dismiss the eighth graders, and then I'll wait a second. I'll get dismiss the sixth graders, and they'll, all the kids will meet you guys out in the cafeteria. Parents, you get first dibs at the cookies before the kids get there. Thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen.